Welcome to the channel of Agri Clarity and Clarity for sure. Today we are going to discuss traditional water conservation methods. India's water crisis can be alleviated by embracing traditional water conservation systems. With the country's rainfall patterns becoming increasingly unpredictable, the government is turning to time-tested methods of harvesting rainwater. These eco-friendly techniques honed over centuries are remarkably effective and environmentally sustainable. India's rich history is filled with examples of innovative water management. The Indus Valley Civilization, for instance, boasted advanced water harvesting and drainage systems. Archaeological excavations at Dholavira reveal a meticulously planned city, complete with storm water channels and sloping terrain that facilitated efficient water collection. Ancient Indian texts such as Chanakya's Arthashastra highlight the importance of irrigation systems that harness harvested rainwater. The settlement of Sringaverapura near Allahabad showcased a sophisticated water harvesting system that leveraged the natural slope of the land to store flood waters from the Ganges. The Chola King, Karikala's construction of the Grand Anikat across the Kaveri River remains an impressive feat of engineering diverting water for irrigation purposes. Similarly, King Bhoja of Bhopal built India's largest artificial lake demonstrating the ingenuity of India's ancient water managers. Drawing upon centuries of experience, Indians continue to build structures to catch, hold and store monsoon rainwater for the dry seasons to come. These traditional techniques, though less popular today, are still in use and efficient. Now we are going to discuss one by one all these unique water conservation systems that are prevalent in India. First, we are going to talk about Jhalaras. Imagine a rectangular shaped oasis in the heart of a bustling city. Jalara's traditional step wells found in Rajasthan were ingeniously designed to collect subterranean seepage from upstream reservoirs or lakes. With tired steps on three or four sides, these ancient structures ensured a steady supply of water for sacred rituals, royal ceremonies and community use. This is unique to Rajasthan and Gujarat. In these two states, you can find Jalara's. Next, we will move to Bavaris. Rajasthan's arid landscape may seem unforgiving, but its ancient inhabitants developed a remarkable system of water storage. Bavari's unique step wells were part of an intricate network that harvested precious rainwater through canals and man-made tanks. As the water percolated into the ground, it recharged aquifers, creating a lifeline for cities and communities. Next, we have Tanka. Deep within the Thar desert lies a traditional Rainwater harvesting technique that's been a lifeline for generations. A tanka is a cylindrical paved underground pit that collects rainwater from rooftops, courtyards and artificial catchments. This ingenious system stores water that can last throughout the dry season freeing families from the drudgery of fetching water from distant sources. Next we have Nadi. Found near Jodhpur in Rajasthan, Nadis are village ponds that store rainwater collected from adjoining natural catchment areas. The location of a Nadi has a strong bearing on its storage capacity and hence the site of a Nadi is chosen after careful deliberation of its catchment and runoff characteristics. Since Nadis receive their water supply from erratic torrential rainfall, large amounts of sandy sediments were regularly deposited in them resulting in quick siltation. A local voluntary organization, the Mewar Krishak Vikas Samiti, has been adding systems like spillways and silt traps to old nadis and promoting afforestation of their drainage basin to prevent siltation. Students who belong to the state of Rajasthan, you might be asked these questions in an interview for NABAD and as well as for AFO that what are the traditional water conservation practices which are practiced in your region. Now let us discuss some traditional flood water harvesting systems from Bihar. In the low rainfall areas of South Bihar, a traditional flood water harvesting system has been the backbone of Paddy cultivation. Ahar pines comprising reservoirs and artificial rivulets collect and store water from rivers during the monsoon season. This ancient wisdom ensures a steady supply of water for irrigation during the dry months, making it a vital component of the region's agricultural heritage. Now let us discuss some water conservation practices from the southern part of India. Panamkeni. Deep in Vayanand, the Kuruma tribe has mastered the art of storing water in a unique type of well called the Panamkeni. You can see the picture. By soaking toddy palm stems in water, they create wooden cylinders that are then immersed in groundwater springs. This ingenious technique ensures a steady supply of water even during the hottest summer months. Next from 
southern part is from Tamil Nadu which is the Eri system. Over 2000 years old, the Eri system in Tamil Nadu is one of India's oldest water management systems. Still widely used today, these tanks act as flood control systems, prevent soil erosion and recharge groundwater. With interconnected tanks, excess water is balanced and river water is fully utilized for irrigation making paddy cultivation possible. Next is the bamboo water harvesting. On the great Nicobar Islands, the Shompen tribe has developed a remarkable water harvesting system by using jack wells, pits encircled by wooden buns and split bamboos. They collect and channel rainwater and runoff from trees. This intricate network ensures a steady supply of water even in rugged terrain. Big jack wells are interconnected with more bamboos so that the overflow from one jack well leads to the other, ultimately leading to the biggest jack well. See how smart are the traditional water conservation practices. We need to start appreciating them and learn from them as well. We are going to discuss two water conservation practices from northeastern part of India. Zabo is practiced in Nagaland. It is also known as Ruza system. Rainwater that falls on forested hilltops is collected by channels that deposit the runoff water in pond-like structures created on the terraced hillsides. The channels also pass through cattle yards collecting the dung and urine of animals before ultimately meandering into paddy fields at the foot of the hill. Ponds created in the paddy field are then used to rear fish and foster the growth of medicinal plants. This holistic approach showcases the ingenuity of Nagaland's farmers. Just look at the brilliance. They are collecting the rainwater and through it they are ultimately irrigating paddy fields and rearing fish and also medicinal plants. Next, we have bamboo drip irrigation. For over two centuries, tribal farmers in northeast India have used a remarkable bamboo drip irrigation system. By diverting water from perennial springs through bamboo pipes, they deliver small drops of water directly to plant roots. This efficient system is perfect for crops requiring less water. So, the farmers from Khasi and Jantia Hills use it to irrigate black pepper. Comment down in the comment section any interesting traditional water conservation which is practiced in your region. And we will be coming up with all those in part 2 of this video. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I will be looking forward to your replies in the comment section. For more such videos, subscribe to the channel. Learn our initiative of IBPS AFO 24-7 test series by Clarity. In this test series, you will get daily subject-wise test, multi-level question, time-based QRE practice questions, weekly full-length test and also detailed explanation. Along with that, you will get all the current affair related agricultural questions as well. Get yourself enrolled now.